All right, ladies and gentlemen, I got a topic for each and every last one of y'all. And by the way, this video ain't gonna be for long, so bear with me. Give me about 17 or 18 minutes of your time. All right? Now, as y'all coming into the video, y'all don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Capiche? And now, we got that all the way. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And by the way, share the video. Now, other than that, how y'all doing out there today? Happy Thursday. How y'all doing out there today? But yeah, anyhow and anyway, that's enough of that bull crap. But with that being said, folks, let's get this party jumping. You are the only one that broke the generational curse in your family. Get ready to daze everybody. Y'all were the only one in your entire bloodline that ever put yourself out there. Understand where I'm about to come from. You were the only one that set the trenches. Your grandma didn't do it. Your granddaddy didn't do it. Your mama didn't do it. Your daddy didn't do it. But when you were put in that blood in that bloodline, God put a certain type of chip inside of you. Your brother didn't have it. Your sister didn't have it. Your cousin didn't have it. Your kinfolk didn't have it. You were the only one, a.k.a. the breadwinner that is. Back then, excuse me, back then, they probably view you as the black sheep. But now look at you. Now everybody looking up to you and your entire family. That's if you still hang with your family, that is. Because if some folks out here don't associate with their family members, Personal reasons, I get it, I understand. But, that's for number. They counted you out. Yeah, your whole entire family. Because you got some family members don't support you. And you got some that will. But to the ones that did not support you, that was jealous of you. Your own brother, your own sister could have been envious of you because of your God given talent gifts. Why they go out there and club, do their little thing? You was at home working on a come up. You understand? You was at home thinking about your future. Late at night, they do all this clubbing and dancing. As they said back in the 80s, the freaks come out at night. They want to be out there with the other freaks. They were calling you this and that, calling you a book, a bookworm nerd, and all that type of stuff. But now look at you. You at where you want to be at in life. And look where they at. They somewhere they don't want to be. Working for somebody else. You being your own boss. And that you had days. The whole entire bloodline. Not only that, everybody in your hometown, they dazed by your results. They are in complete shock, ladies and gentlemen. Because remember when you were young, people overlooked your potential. But at the same time, they saw it in you. Your mama, she saw it. Your daddy, he saw it. All of them saw it. That's why they treat you the less favorite, and treat your brother and sister the favorite. And you know what they call that, right? Favoritism. But that's all right. That's all good, because guess what? You guys favorite now. It doesn't matter who was the favorite in the family. You are God's favorite. I mean, excuse me, you were God's favorite. And this is why people or your family members they like you. They couldn't stand your guts. But that was their problem. 
not yours. They mad because you cracked the code in the family. You the only one in the family tree that did something with their lives. And I sit up here and listen to mediocre society. Working for him, working for her. Oh, they don't hear me though. They ain't ready for that. All their life, they've been told, get a job, get a job, go to college, do this and that. All y'all life, y'all heard about graduate high school, go to college, be a degree, get married, have kids, pick a fence, dog. But see, they ain't tell you this. Break the generational curse. Be a leader, which means don't listen to society. And most importantly, work for yourself. Don't work for a nine to five all your life. Sure, it's okay to have a job, but when you got potential out here, trust and believe me, you ain't gonna need that job. Because you're gonna be working for yourself. You're gonna be your own B-O-S-S. -S. Holly, if you hear me one time. Everybody in your family mad at you because you broke the code, you breaking generational curses. Some of you be making six figures a year, seven figures a year. Whatever you make, that that's good. Keep it to yourself. But your family members, the ones that overlook you, now they asking for a handout. Your brothers and sisters. Big bro, let me hold something. Or oh, little sis, let me hold something. Look, like they got their hand out. Them ashy hands that's doing like this. Time of some gimme, gimme. They got to put in the work like you did. Then nobody didn't give you nothing, right? So they got to do the same thing you did. Put in the work. While they were so busy clubbing. Shaking that funky groove thing and all that. They could have been right there beside you. Trying to figure out how to crack this generational code. How to get this moolah, this money, level up. They ain't want to do that. They were calling you a nerd because you were reading books. You were doing stuff that they was afraid to do. And this is why y'all become successful in your family. Or you are the successful one. And some of you had to get away from your hometown and away from your family members. Some of them were energy vampires. Some of them were haters. They didn't care about you. None of that type of stuff. And most of all, some of you even got your own family. If you got kids, you got a son or a daughter, you teaching them the game. You sonning them right now. You are teaching them what they did not taught you. Because they try to keep this stuff hidden. But once you learn about this type of stuff, trust and believe me, a lot of people is going to be upset at you. They're going to be pissed off and intimidated by you. It's because you got so much knowledge. Everybody that was in your family did not want you to know this. They wanted you to walk around here brainless as a zombie. They wanted you out here dumb as a doorknob, dumb as a pack of rocks. But listen to what I'm telling you. All of you that's watching this video, you are smart. Some of you, well, not say some of you, but all of you, were smart as some of your siblings. Now, I ain't trying to be funny or me when I say that, but it's the truth. Because remember, when you was a kid, you did so much reading. Reading a lot of documentaries and all that type of stuff. And what they doing? Out hanging with their friends. Clubbing, doing all types of stuff. You at home, self-improvement. Because you know one day, you're going to be out there making your own money somewhere in another state or another city, wherever the case may be. 
Now they want to know, can they link up with you? Can they roll with you now? But remember, your brother and sister made fun of you for being a bookworm. They called you a nerd. They called you Steve Urkel back in the day. Because you were so smart. But now, look at you now. Fast forward. Getting all the money. You being your own boss. You ain't got to get up at such and such time just to go to work and listen to somebody else. You your own authority. You ain't got to listen to nobody. But your brothers and sisters and all of them, they got to clock in to a job that they cannot stand. They could have been right there with you, breaking the curse. But no, this is why everybody is sharp day and days. They flabbergash. They thought you were going to give up and throw in the towel. But as soon as God gave you y'all breakthrough, boy, them eyes got big as Bernie Mac. That eyes got so doggone big. Everybody in your town and then your bloodline was so doggone in shock. Some of them did two things. Cried tears of joy or got pissed off. And nine times out of ten, most of them got pissed off. But the ones that really grew up with you, that was raised in the same household as you. That, that's my baby. That's my son right there. You go, boy. Now they're saying all this now, but back then, boy, you crazy. You need to get a job. Ain't nobody in this family talk about being successful. Now, am I right or am I wrong? But now, then again, if you had parents did support you, that's good for you. But nine times out of ten, the people that's watching this video, they had nobody to support them but strangers. But also, let me add this. Strangers can become family as well. Remember, blood ain't thicker than water, man. Because it be the ones closest to you that would be the most envious persons, the envious people ever. Look at Jesus. I say Jesus. Look at Jesus. It's another name you can call him too. I don't want to mess up this name, but um, you know what I'm trying to say. But yeah, look at Jesus, Yahshua, that's his name, yeah, and Judas. Judas betrayed Jesus. Remember, Satan was an angel. So what that tells you right there, my point exactly, the ones that grew up with you or were raised in the same household as you, could have been judged of you the whole entire time. Yeah, back then they got all the attention. Now look at you. Now they want to be in your shoes. Everybody overlooked you. Treated you like you were the dog on black sheep. And you probably were, but that's all good, though. That's all good. Because the black sheep end up becoming a winner. The black sheep end up becoming the most successful. Guy... Man or woman in the family. Now they are all proud to say, that's my brother, that's my cousin, that's my sister, that's my son, that's my daughter, that's my kinfolk. Now they're proud to say that you are a part of their legacy. Ain't it funny? People want to claim you when you got money. People want to claim you when you are this popular person. But before you got all that, when nobody claiming you, everybody trying to make you feel bad about yourself. But remember, ladies and gentlemen, you the only one, you understand? You the only one, the only uno, not those or threats. You the only one in your entire family. That crack the cold on these suckers. And that they send back so doggone days. They asking questions. 
Where you learn all that from? Duh, read books. Knowledge is power. That's why they used to say, read, read in school. Because you'll learn, but you know some people don't like to read. They can get on social media and read about self-destruction. This person and this person fighting, they can read about that though. They can read about drama. But positivity, they don't want to read about that. But negativity, they read about that in a heartbeat. But you on the other hand, y'all are cut from a different type of cloth. And that's what they don't understand because we're number. K dot. They are not like us. Remember, many are called, but a few are chosen. And they want to call themselves a chosen one. Remember, you were being made fun of for being different. Now, years later, now they're calling themselves a chosen one. No, 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 no. You got to be a chosen one since day one. And being a chosen one, that means breaking the curse in the family. Walking alone. Not being alone forever, but focusing on yourself. Working on that come up. That's a chosen one. And not giving a crap when nobody got to say either. But they couldn't be in your shoes. Nah. They couldn't shock everybody with their results like you had done. They couldn't do it. Because they was afraid what other people were going to say about them. That's why they're still stuck in the situation that they are in. And you, my friends, made it out of a place that they're still stuck in. So, you should pat yourself on the back. Because remember, ain't nobody going to give you your props unless it's me or strangers. But I want to say, you did a good, good doggone job of breaking the generational curse. Whoever you is watching this video and you made it to the very end, you did a hell of a good job. And I'm so proud of you. Keep on keeping on. Keep up the good work, ladies and gentlemen. You have astonished everybody. Days, everybody. And the whole entire hometown that you came from, they are in sharp too. They haven't seen nothing yet. This is just the beginning. So they might as well. They might as well get ready. Because they haven't seen nothing yet. Your family members, they ain't seen nothing yet. None of them. You just not getting started. You was the black sheep. Now you are the winner. So folks. I'm going to go ahead and shut it off right here. Y'all please, please, please be safe out there. And remember. I love each and every last one of you. God bless. And you made it to the end of the video. Salute. Much respect. I appreciate all the love, the support, the positive feedback. Y'all know I be reading all the comments. So, thank you all. And with that being said, I will catch you all tomorrow, which is Friday. So, be looking out for me. And be looking out for more content. And don't forget to turn your notifications bell on. All right? But with that being said, I love you all. Once again, God bless. And you will see my face and hear my voice tomorrow. Peace.